To make this white eyed beans or chowli, we need about 3 tablespoons of oil in a nice open dish. Once this is nice and hot, I'm going to add 2 teaspoons of cumin seeds. They are popping immediately so the oil is nice and hot. 1 teaspoon of mustard seeds. Guys, it's important that these pop. We can't let them be the whole so they will pop. Add one onion finely chopped. Give this a nice mix and uh, let the onions cook along with the cumin seeds and the mustard seeds. And uh, we wait until they slightly change shade. Cook this on low flame. Add 7 to 8 curry leaves as well. Now that the onions have nicely changed shade, I'm going to add 1 tablespoon of uh, ginger garlic paste. Give this a nice mix. Always remember while making any recipe or any dish, add half the proportion of salt while the onions are cooking and half at the mid stage of the recipe. So I'm going to add about half a teaspoon of salt to my onion mixture. I'm going to add half a teaspoon of cumin powder, pinch of turmeric powder, one teaspoon of garam masala powder, Give this a nice mix. Now I'm adding one teaspoonful of Kashmiri chili powder. Mix this well. Wow, the entire kitchen is full of the aroma. So uh, don't add any water now. Just let this cook for about two minutes on low flame so that the spice is kind of lightly roast with the onion. Now the beauty of making this Malvani Usar is uh, importantly that this particular masala that you've added has to get really roasted well. You know so it, it kind of gives that little roasty tinge and your Kashmiri chilli adds to the spice. That's how the Malvani masala is actually made. They roast all the whole spice and then just grind it. To this I'll now add about half a cup of water so that the spices can completely cook. Mix this well. Now while this is mixed, now these are what we call the white eyed beans or the tsauri. Okay, so all I've done is I've soaked this overnight and uh, they are about three-fourth, you know, kind of soft now. They kind of break easily. And uh, you have to keep it three-fourth. If, if it's 100% done, then it becomes squashed in the mixture and will not taste very well. So what we're going to do is, now this is about uh, one cup of uh, white eye beans or tauri and half the cup I'm going to keep as is and remaining half I'm just going to squash it into a semi coarse paste. Now this has begun boiling so my spices are actually ready. To this I'm going to add two large tomatoes pureed. Just going to give this a nice mix. Okay. This has begun boiling. Now I'm going to add my white eyed beans that I had soaked overnight. Remember I'm just going to add half and the remaining half I'm going to squash. So this is the remaining half that I'm just going to squash. So you could use something like this you know in the hotels we have electronic ones but you know in your household you could just keep something like this so it's easy to squash. Now these usars you don't necessarily need to make them really thick. Uh, they're actually enjoyed with pow or some kind of bread which kind of soaks the gravy that's how it becomes more tasty so you don't need to keep it thick it has to be a little thin that's how you're going to enjoy this so while the water is uh, actually going to begin boiling I am squashing my remaining white eyed beans or tauris so here I've actually squashed some now as you see I haven't made it into a you know into a complete paste but uh, you see some of the tauris, they're, they're kind of half squashed I would say. So that's how you need to keep them. I'm going to add this squashed thing as well to my mixture. Now white eyed beans are really rich in protein so you know it's a must add in your diet. Tauri or white eyed beans are halfway cooked. Now we've added this water and they're going to cook together along with the spices. That's how the spices are also going to get soaked into the beans.
Now I'm going to let this cook for about uh, you know 15 minutes on low flame so that the, the spices also cook and the spices are also into it completely. So cover this but let some air come out so you know get hold of a vessel where it has some space to get the air out and it's not like a complete jam. So this is enough so your beans will cook and the spices will cook along with it. So after about 15 minutes uh, the beans have got nicely boiled as you can see and uh, we still have some water but this is almost half its quantity so at this stage what I'm going to do is I have some coconut powder you know that's available in any of the Asian stores or if you have fresh coconut just uh, kind of grind it into a nice watery paste I have coconut powder so what I have done is I have used the same water of this usar or the beans and I have tried to make a paste with the coconut. You see, now the reason I'm doing this is so that the coconut doesn't taste raw when you add it at this stage. And the entire idea of adding it at this stage is because we need to have a little coconut flavor. But at the same time, it shouldn't be raw because it's, it's then going to just spoil the entire taste. So we use the same water that you see, the same gravy that you see in these and then add it to your coconut powder and just mix it beautifully well. Okay, so I have your a nice smooth paste. I'm going to add this to my mixture. Mix this well. Now we are going to add the remaining amount of salt. So add about half a teaspoon of salt to this. Now this usar is actually ready. For people who do not like it this thin, you can just let the water boil. But this time keep the dish open. Do not place the lid on it. And for people who want to taste the traditional usar, it's simple just get this out in a nice bowl and uh, you know kind of uh, sprinkle some coriander sprinkle some raw onions into your bowl raw onions and uh, you know if you have those um, save or for sons you could sprinkle those or just kind of enjoy this with pow but the essence of it is to enjoy this while it is you know nice and liquidy that's the way usals were traditionally made Okay, but it's, it's purely your call. If you want, you could burn some more water and then you could serve this. Oh, wait, I'm just going to eat this as is because this is the way I like it and get some nice pow bread and just dip it in and start eating. So this is ready to be served. So thank you very much and uh, hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and you guys will try it out in your homes. And do write to me if in case you want me to really teach you or to cook with you a recipe of your choice. I'll be more than happy because um, I believe in inspiring a lot of people to cook. And now that I have that kind of expertise, I want to pass it on to everyone. So thank you and uh, see you again in my next video. Bye-bye.